Okay, this sermon is entitled, Shana Jones, an unsaved false prophetess. I'd like to open up with prayer. And then with a few verses, all right, dear God, thank you for giving us your clear word. Thank you for allowing us to see what it says. Blessed listeners, I ask all this in Jesus' name, amen. Psalm 135 reads, Praise ye the Lord, praise ye the name of the Lord, praise him, O ye servants of the Lord, ye that stand in the house of the Lord, in the courts of the house of our God. Praise the Lord, for the Lord is good. Sing praises unto his name, for it is pleasant. Now, up until recently, I didn't know who this person was, this Shana Jones, and people have been asking me to expose her. So I went to her channel. It's completely anti-grace. She's got videos trying to vilify the doctrine of eternal security. So let's just take a listen to this unsaved devil and see what she has to say, and then I'm going to break it down and expose it. Here goes. <laughs> once saved, always saved is like an abusive relationship. Okay, she said once saved, always saved is like an abusive relationship. The last time I checked, once saved, always saved was simply a biblical promise that lets us know that once we're saved, we are adopted into the body of Christ, and we have a promise of going to heaven, and it's guaranteed to us because of God's grace. How on earth is that like an abusive relationship? See, this is what happens when a person is unsaved and becomes a reprobate. It's like their brain is just fried. Okay, it's like that commercial. This is your brain on drugs with the egg cracked open and with the gelatinous mush. Well, this is your brain on heresy. This is your brain on false doctrine. It doesn't even function. Let's listen to what else she has to say. Here goes. When you think about it, they, they promise things. They promise, and, and this is not written in the Bible, that your sins are forgiven past, present, and future. Okay. Well, when Jesus Christ died on the cross, all your sins were future. And if he didn't pay for all your sins, then nobody's going to heaven. Jesus Christ did not make a partial redemption. He died for all our sins, and we see this in the scripture over and over again. Turn over to Psalm 130. Psalm 130, it reads in verse 8, And he shall redeem Israel from all his iniquities. Okay, in the Old Testament, we have what's called a scapegoat. It involved two goats. One would be sacrificed, the other would be released into the desert or the wilderness. And this is a picture of Jesus Christ dying on the cross. And it reads in Leviticus chapter number 16, verse 20 reads, And when he hath made an end of reconciling the holy place, and the tabernacle of the congregation, and the altar, he shall bring the live goat. Okay, the goat is a picture of Jesus Christ. It continues in verse 21, And Aaron shall lay both his hands upon the head of the live goat, and confess over him all the iniquities of the children of Israel, and all their transgressions in all their sins, putting them upon the head of the goat, and shall send him away by the hand of a fit man into the wilderness. Verse 22, And the goat shall bear upon him all their iniquities, unto a land not inhabited, and he shall let go the goat in the wilderness. The point is, is that the goat took upon himself all their sins, and that's what Jesus Christ did when he died on the cross. He paid for all our sins, past, present, and future. The reason why this Shana Jones does not believe this is because she's not saved. She's trusting in herself to atone for her own sins, or to repent of her sins, or whatever. And it's not going to work. Because this is works salvation. She has never trusted Jesus Christ to save her. She's on her way to hell right now. And she's an unsaved false prophetess who's hellbound. So let's take a look at one more verse that makes it clear that all our sins are paid for. I mean, it's, this is in the Bible so many times it's not even funny. Colossians chapter 2 and verse 13 reads, And you being dead in your sins, and the uncircumcision of your flesh, hath he quickened together with him, having forgiven you all trespasses. So who are you going to believe? The Bible or this stupid, unsaved, false prophetess, Shana Jones, who's on her way to hell right now? I'm going to stick with what the Bible says. So that's all I have. Let me go ahead and close in prayer. Dear God, thank you for giving us your clear word. Thank you for allowing us to see what it says. Bless the listeners. I ask all this in Jesus' name. Amen.